Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a look at a pencil. Uh, this one from the General Pencil Company in Jersey City, New Jersey. And this is the General's Calendar Pencil. And this is sort of an unusual a pencil in that uh, it is, I think, of the general yellow pencils um, that are made by General Pencil Company. It's the only one without an eraser. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Uh, and I'm not sure of the history of this pencil. Don't know if this pencil's intention was for logging appointments in calendars and uh, if so, I know that often the um, appointments get changed and so maybe uh, rather than putting an eraser on the end, it was understood that anybody who's um, responsible for keeping a very complicated calendar uh, may need a block eraser at hand to move things around. I don't know, I'm speculating, but uh, let's take a look at it. So um, it says uh, here, it's a, the, 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 the typical general yellow paint job, um, generals, and then in green foil, you've got generals, calendar, and if I come in a little closer, maybe we can focus, there we go. So General's Calendar, and then you have the little hex, semi-hex symbol that General Pencil uses. Uh, USA, yep, made in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, 1005 is the, uh, the stock number, and number two. Sort of interesting that it's N-O, the abbreviation number two, rather than just putting a two on here or an HB. That's sort of old-fashioned and classic to me. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, and it's hard to see because it's a bit painted over. But there's a very little embossed word here that says bonded. I don't know. You can maybe see the B-O part of the N, part of the D, and then the paint kind of filled in the rest. So this is a hexagonal pencil, uh, or perhaps I should say semi-hexagonal pencil since it's made by Generals. Um, yeah, fairly centered, well, let's see. There's the core, a little off, just a little off center. Uh, and then here, I have already sharpened this pencil and because um, uh, I was so anxious to use it when I got it. But uh, we're going to put this to paper and see how it writes and erases the General's Calendar number 2 pencil. Okay, here we are with our General's Pencil uh, the calendar model and we're going to uh, do a little writing with this and it is says number two Well, um, it is very comfortable and it is <clears throat> a nice number two, fairly quiet actually, and uh, I think it perhaps is the same core as uh, in some of their other pencils, um, like maybe 
um, the goddess or the Pacific or the Supreme. Relatively smooth writing pencil, I would say. Now again, it's called a calendar pencil. And if this is for keeping a calendar, if that's the intention, then I hope it erases fairly easily and well. Uh, you know, I think of uh, calendars at uh, doctor's offices and things like that. Although everything's digital now, uh, and it's everything's on the computer. But um, some of us remember when doctors kept their appointments on paper, and appointments always had to be moved, and people had to switch their appointments. And so that was always done in pencil. So let's see how it erases. There's no eraser on the pencil, so we'll try some of our favorite block erasers. Mars Plastic, excellent. Uh, the Pentel Palmer, very good. We'll try a Pink Carnation. Those okay. Uh, art gum. Okay. Um, Milan. Good. Hartmouth. It's a natural rubber. Pretty good. And a Mr. Pen. Okay. Well, there we have it. I'll give it a B plus, A minus in erasability. Something I was remiss in doing here. Let's see. Here's our smudge. So you can see it does have a little bit of a drag. And I think that probably speaks to the uh, relative softness of this number two. I'm going to just pop it in the sharpener real quick here and put a little finer point on it. Okay. And we'll back it up. And we can do a little bit more driving with this.
Okay. Yeah, it's a um, it's a very smooth, um, uh, fairly uh, comfortable again with the with that semi hex uh, soft corner. Uh, the shape, um, not sure of the wood, but it's a very nice wood that uh, sharpens well. And um, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have an eraser on it because I generally use block erasers anyway. But if, um, uh, if you're looking for something a little out of the ordinary, I believe these are still in production. Uh, this really is um, a nice pencil. So there it is. The General's Calendar Pencil number two. Thank you for uh, spending a few minutes with me as we kind of discover this pencil and try it out. And if you like what I do here, please share, subscribe, like, and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Always Analog.